Have you ever wondered how goods are transported across the globe? It's a fascinating dance of logistics, a complex system of moving parts that creates a seamless supply chain. At the heart of this intricate ballet is sea shipping, a method of transport that carries a staggering 70% of the world's trade. Now, compare this with other methods like air and road transport. Air transport, while speedy, is costly and limited by payload. Road transport, on the other hand, while flexible and cost-effective for short distances, is not suitable for long-range intercontinental logistics. Sea shipping, however, strikes a balance. It offers a vast capacity, cost-effectiveness, and the ability to transport goods over great distances. From the mammoth oil tankers to the colossal container ships, the sea is a bustling highway of global commerce. Indeed, sea shipping is an indispensable part of global trade. But why is sea shipping so crucial, you might wonder? Well, there are a number of reasons. First off, sea shipping offers unparalleled capacity. A single container ship can carry thousands of 20-foot equivalent units, or TEUs, making it a workhorse for international trade. Additionally, sea shipping proves to be cost-effective, especially for long-haul shipments. When it comes to moving large quantities of goods across vast distances, no other mode of transport can compete with the sea. And let's not forget about the environmental aspect. Despite its vast scale, sea shipping emits less carbon dioxide per unit of freight per mile than both air and road transport. This makes it a greener choice for our planet. Now here's a staggering fact. Sea shipping is responsible for carrying about 90% of world trade. That's right. Nearly everything we use in our daily lives has been on a ship at some point. Without sea shipping, our world would look very different. Indeed, it's hard to imagine a world without it. Now, did you know there are different types of sea shipments? Let's dive into two of the most common ones, less than container load, or LCL, and full container load, or FCL. LCL is like carpooling for cargo. Multiple shippers share space in a single container, each paying only for the room their goods occupy. This is a cost-effective option when you don't have enough cargo to fill a whole container. On the other hand, FCL is when one shipper rents an entire container. This is ideal for larger shipments as it provides more control over the packing and handling of the goods, and often quicker transit times. But it's not just about LCL and FCL. There are also specialized containers like refrigerated units for perishable goods, tank containers for liquids, and open-top containers for oversized cargo. Choosing the right type of shipment is crucial for efficient and cost-effective logistics. Sea shipping is not just about moving goods, it's about facilitating global trade. You see, different countries around the globe specialize in producing different goods. For instance, Japan may be a hub for electronics, while Brazil excels in coffee production. This worldwide specialization naturally leads to a need for exchange, and that's where sea shipping comes in. Sea shipping allows these countries to import what they need and export what they produce efficiently and cost-effectively. It is the vital link in the chain of global trade, connecting producers and consumers across continents. It ensures goods reach their destined markets in time, maintaining the smooth functioning of global commerce. And it's not just about tangible goods. Sea shipping also plays a crucial role in the exchange of resources and raw materials, underpinning industries and economies worldwide. So, sea shipping is truly the backbone of our globalized economy. Let us quickly revisit what we've learned today. We've navigated the intricate world of global logistics and discovered the immense importance of sea shipping. It's a titan of transport, outshining air and road alternatives in terms of volume and environmental impact. We've also dipped our toes into the diverse types of sea shipments. We've explored less than container load or LCL, where various shippers share space in a single container, and full container load or FCL, where a single shipper monopolizes the container space. Each type has its unique advantages, tailored to the needs of the shipper. Moreover, we've sailed through the significant role of sea shipping in the ebb and flow of global trade. It's the lifeblood of imports and exports, moving goods across continents and keeping the wheels of commerce turning. So next time you buy something that's been imported, give a thought to the complex journey it has made, largely thanks to sea shipping.